46 is brought to you by Bees Embroidery and Garment Printing, specializing in custom and personalized decoration of gifts, garments, and more. Call 775-727-9444. News is also brought to you by Assemblyman James Oscarson, the voice for veterans, seniors, and education, now and in the future. The conservative choice, fighting for your rights. Paid by the committee to re-elect James Oscarson. News is also brought to you by Lorinda Wickman for Nye County Commissioner, District 1, a qualified and dedicated professional who understands our challenges and is here to serve the people. Vote to re-elect Lorinda Wickman for Nye County Commissioner, District 1, paid for by the supporters of Lorinda Wickman. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, Pahrump is the target of a Disney episode. Home Depot to the rescue at the Veterans Memorial, and a female is injured when her car won't stop. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Wednesday, June 8, 2016. I'm Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. A town like Pahrump depends a lot on tourism, housing, and business. Pahrump has been struggling for years to change our unearned reputation to fuel business and our economy. We took a big hit recently when Disney decided to make our town the spotlight of one of their kids' shows. A Gamer's Life to Pretty Much Everything, Episode 20, is a Disney XD show, which has aired two times now. It is bashing our town of Pahrump. Not only does it mention Pahrump, it's a subject of the show. The show's character, Mr. Spanks, is going to a goat fair here in Pahrump, which he calls the world's largest stinkhole. The main character, Connor, says, you mean sinkhole? And he corrects him saying, no, I mean stinkhole. He continues saying that the goat buttercup is nervous. The character, Connor, says, well, you can't take a delicate little creature like buttercup to a city like Pahrump. All those filthy kids petting and poking her and playing in that stink hole all day. They call Pahrump a pokey town and that if you come here, you may get a Pahrump lump. Mr. Spank says, I don't want to get the Pahrump lump in a dump like Pahrump. When Mr. Spanks returns from Pahrump, he has a giant growth on his neck, which is described as the Pahrump lump. According to the Pahrump Valley Times, the town is looking into legal action. The attack on children of Pahrump is the most disturbing after this reporter has had many instances where kids are being bullied in our town and the depression following from outsiders who believe this reputation for some reason that has been our legacy. The townspeople are urging residents to contact Disney for a formal apology and to remove the hateful, tasteless attack on our town. You can contact Disney XD by going to infodisneyxd.ca. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. The Home Depot received grant money to put shade cover over the Veterans Memorial in the Chief Tacopa Cemetery. This is the third veterans project they have done in our town. What we're doing right here is uh, Home Depot has once again volunteered their uh, expertise and their monies to put in a pergola for us. We're going to put in eight pergolas in this area here. As you remember, the last project they did, they fixed our uh, building over here. So this year what they're doing is so that people will have shade when they come to uh, the meetings or come to any ceremonies here in the future. Um, often when you come here, people are, uh, ha they have umbrellas, they're trying to hide yes. out in the shade. Yes. Um, this is going to make a big difference in these services, isn't it? Yes, this is going to help out uh, gratefully. What our next project is now, what we're looking to do, is get air conditioning in that building. So that's the projects that we're doing, because in our committee, we don't have any money, so we have to go out and ask people to support us in getting the projects done and then also get approval through the county commissioners when we're working these projects. How can people donate? Uh, people can donate by contacting uh, myself. My phone number is 760-963-4776, and I can help them and direct them to uh, 
someone to uh, give their donation to. So we were able to come out here and uh, build some pergolas um, for the cemetery uh, for them to be able to have an area where they can relax and celebrate some of the veterans um, here in Pahrump. And so how did this come about? Uh, we were actually approached uh, from one of our associates, Carmen, uh, approached us and said, hey, we got this great job at the cemetery that they're looking to do. Uh, so we put the grant together, got the plans for it, and got it submitted. It was approved through the Home Depot Foundation, and uh, here we are today. How many team members you guys have out here? We have about 50 out here today. This is actually the second project we've done out here. We came out here about a year and a half ago, um, and we were able to uh, lay some stones uh, around the graves as well as paint uh, the reception room about a year and a half ago. I got a phone call that said that the Home Depot was coming out here as a great community partner that they are, putting up shade here at the Chief Tacopa Cemetery. I had to come out and see it for myself, and it's amazing to watch. Yeah, I'm sure that uh, you were here on Memorial Day. You see all the veterans and their families that were lined up along the building over here just trying to get some shade. This is really going to be a big difference for the upcoming uh, services that are held here. It's going to be great. You can already see the difference it's going to make for people sitting there, and hopefully we can get some uh, some help for them to get extend the benches out and have more seating out here so people can be here. It's, a, it's just a great community partner that Home Depot has shown up. Seeing all these orange shirts out here is great. That is just awesome. Well, traffic was blocked for a short time this afternoon on Highway 160 in front of Walmart for a two-car crash. A two-vehicle accident occurred on Highway 160 at the exit of Walmart this afternoon. Nevada Highway Patrol and Nye County Sheriff's deputies, as well as Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue, arrived on scene. Both vehicles were still in the roadway. According to reports, the female inside the blue vehicle was attempting to make a stop while exiting the Walmart parking lot. She reportedly said that her accelerator stuck to the floor, and that is what caused the accident. She was transported to Desert View Hospital with injuries sustained as a result of this accident. No one inside the silver vehicle reported any injuries at the time of the crash. Nevada Highway Patrol is investigating. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Your Desert View Hospital health tip after the break.